Hey guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober, and today we're going to be talking about increments of stops within shutter speed in photography. Now, we all know how shutter speed works. If you use a slow shutter speed, you're allowing more light to hit your camera's sensor, and if you use a fast shutter speed, then you allow less light in to strike your camera's sensor. But did you know that there's a thing called increments of stops within shutter speed in photography? Let's have a look. So basically, just like ISO and aperture, there's a set standard with regards to what a stop is in photography. For example, let's have a look at the shutter speed one Two five of a second, 125th of a second. So if we're at 125th of a second, and if we opened up to 160th of a second, then we've opened up by a full stop. Then, if we went from 160th of a second and opened up to 130th of a second, Again, we have opened up by a full stop. It's the same if we go from 1 30th of a second all the way to 1 15th of a second. Again, that is a full stop. And when we go backwards from 1 15th of a second to 1 30th, that is basically stepping down a stop. And 1 30th to 1 60th, again, we're stepping down a stop. And 160th, 125, we've stepped back down a stop. So they're your stops. However, if I go on to 125 on my camera, and then if I move now to the left, I get 190th of a second. But the thing is, 190th of a second is not a stop. In fact, it's half a stop. So what you're seeing here is an increment of half a stop. So if I move again, now I'm on 60th of a second. But if I go from 1 60th of a second, move my wheel dial, I'll get 1 45 of a second. But again, that is not a full stop. Instead, that is half a stop. And it's the same if we go to 1 30th, and if I move from 1 30th, I get 1 20th of a second. Again, 1 20th of a second being half a stop. Because if I wanted a full stop, I would have had to have gone from 1 30th of a second all the way to 1 15th of a second. So this means that I would have had to move the wheel dial twice instead of moving it once. So I'll finish this video with the very last example then, okay? So let's move on to 115 one, yeah, of a second I've got here. So if I want to go to a full stop, then I need to turn my wheel dial twice, okay? So I'll go one, two, and then I get an eighth. So I've got to move my wheel dial twice to get a full stop. If I moved my wheel dial once, I would have got one tenth. Let me just find my green pen, bear with me. I would have had to, if I moved it once, I would have got one tenth of a second. Again, one tenth of a second, it is not a full stop, it is half a stop. Right guys, so there's something you've got to Look into yourself now, look into the increments of shutter speed within photography. Remember to subscribe to the channel and check out our online shop over at www.ukhighland.com when you get the time.